Have you ever, have you ever heard of catch free? Things like those are cacao bank. Unlike in the early days when conversation with parents mainly involved cash. These days, they almost exclusively use credit cards or cash free options. As a result, coins are mainly used and it has become a habit for many not to carry wallets. Today, we will talk about cash free, table of contents, advantages of cash free, disadvantages of cash free, history of credit cards, various brands of credit cards. First, advantages of cash free. If you lose your bills, you can't find them. You can't get even 1% of the money. But with cash free, you can lose money as long as take out the card, money or the card. Cash free is cash that you have to complete when you pay individually. It is much simpler and easier than handling physical cash. Alternatively, it is convenient because one person can pay with a card and then send the exact amount using Kakao Bank. Also, since there is no need to manage change, the wallet is light and convenient. Cash passes through many people's hands and can be dirty. However, cash free is not dirty because it is not handled. Second, disadvantages of cash free. If you get paid, you can lose your money or at once. You can spend money when there is no internet. It is difficult to deal with people who are not familiar with machines and have difficulty using complex systems. Third, history of credit cards. The concept of credit cards first appeared in the novel Looking Backward, published by Edmund Bellman. In 1887, and today's credit cards appeared in 1951 with the Dinners Club founded by Frank McNamara and others in New York, USA. The credit cards was the beginning. The first credit card in Korea was the Shinsegi Department Store card in 19, 1969. However, it was initially limited to issue by Shinsegi Department Store employee. And the affiliated stores were were also restricted to Shinsegi department store. It wasn't until 1978 when Korea Exchange Bank Bank currently Hanaka started issuing Visa card that ordinary people began to have access to credit card. First, various Brands of credit card, cre brands of cash free system. International brands of credit cards include Visa, Mastercard, JCB, American Express, Dinners Club, Discover, Onion Pay. The most recent cash free ones include Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and Toast Pay. While cash free doesn't always have advantage. People in the 21st century prioritize convenience. This generation will likely continue to prefer payment systems with more advanced features, including cash free options. And I think if we continue to use cash free, the world will develop much more and our lives will become more comfortable. At this point, I'm curious about your thoughts. What do you think? Thank you for listening to our PPT so far. Hello, we are Marie Frangen and Julia. Have you recently used cash while hanging out with your friends? I personally prefer cash. However, most of my friends and parents are very prepared to pay my credit card or smartphone. As time changes, most people prefer cash less transactions, but I still have questions about using cash. What are the pros and cons? First, the advantages of cash. There is no fee compared to card transactions, so you can get a discount. If you buy something with cash, it is not easily transferable. One significant reason why people hold cash is to avoid leaving a record. 
recently based on the base of 50,000 volunteers, the volume has decreased significantly, making it easier to store them. Second, the downside of cash. Cash is quite inconvenient to carry and use. If you lose your card, you can immediately call the bank or credit card company's call center to apply for suspension of your card. However, if you lose cash, you will never be able to find it. Therefore, in today's modern society, people all over the world tend to prefer cards over cash. Another major drawback is that it is permanently impossible to use if it is damaged. Third, the benefit of cash free. Since the return of money is made of digital data, it can be paid in units of Korean won won. So there is no need to worry about change. In Indonesian payment can be completed in just three to four seconds with a credit card. But the downside of cash free. Because the return money is stored in digital form, it can be vulnerable to cyber attack such as hacking. As a result, users must take additional security measures to ensure the safety of their personal information and assets. Cash is good. And cash free is a payment method that that has a has an advantage. Still, as a student, I prefer visible cash more, and I think the advantages of the using cash are greater. What do you think? I've made some slight modification to improve the set flow and clarity. Feel free to ask if you have any specific questions about the changes. Goodbye. Hello, we are Sally and Sangyang. Have you ever seen an electric scooter on the street? Compared to walking, you can see a lot around you because of its best speed, ability to ride anywhere, and low price. The topics we are going to introduce today are the pros and cons of electric scooters, the dangers, and how to electric scooter safely and fun. The first advantage of electric scooters is that they are easy to carry around. This is because it is smaller than a car or motorcycle, so even people living in ordinary apartments can easily carry it inside the house. The second advantage is that you can go a distance, then you can walk quickly. The speed of the electric scooters is relatively much faster than the speed of human walking, which reduces the time it takes to reach the destination. Next is the downside of electric scooters, this advantage of electric scooters. The first thing is that they are likely to get into an accident because of their fast speed. Public electric scooters have a quite fast speed with an average speed of 25 km per hour and news about them show that there have been many near accidents due to their fast speed. According to the news about electric scooters, there are many incidents that almost cause accidents due to their fast speed. The second disadvantage is that it takes a long time to charge. This is because electricity used to charge electric scooter is used a lot. It takes an average of 4 to 8 hours or longer to buffer. There is not much electricity used to charge electric scooters, but due te to technical limitation, we have to charge them slowly. Now, let me introduce the risk. The first danger is that riding on electric scooter is no, is no more eco-friendly than walking. There will be less environmental pollution to use as electricity, but fossil fuels or nuclear fuels must be used to make electricity. The second risk is that if you don't wear protective equipment, you can suffer more damage in the event of an accident. 
In fact, more than 20% of users have experience in Jewish in the survey. So far, I've introduced the pros and cons of electric scooters. The safe and fun way to ride this electric scooter is to ride them at a constant speed with newer protective equipment. This is because if you ride an electric scooter without wearing protective equipment, you can suffer more damage in the event of an accident as I introduced earlier. Also, it's riding at a certain speed. It is so much fun when riding on the electric scooter that if you ride it easily, you may collide with other electric scooters or cars. So we introduced the pros and cons of electric scooters, the danger, and how to ride electric scooters safely and fun. Thank you! However, there are some inconveniences associated with digital wallets. There, they are rendered useless if your smartphone is turned off or if you're, if you're experiencing internet issues. Overspending is also a concern as the real-time tracking of expenses may not be readily available. Now, let's delve into the types of digital wallets. Options include Toast Bank, Kakao Bank, Loka Pay, Samsung Pay, KB Pay, and Sinan Bank. These wallets support various card types such as the credit card, debit card, advanced card, and for transportation card. Lastly, let's compare cash and digital wallet. While carrying cash involves the risk of losing it and handling chain, digital wallets offer online purchase options and easy payments so as. However, it's cru crucial to be mindful of security concerns. As such as hacking and potential privacy invasion due to set prevent and detail in conclusion both cash and digital wallets have their strengths and weakness. As technology advances, it likely that digital wallets will become more prevalent, possibly leading to Reading to our cashless society. Thank you for listening to our thoughts on this matter.